Okay, so we're going to show you how to do a holder row for your vase. This will hold it still while you weave. So with a 3 16 flat oval, this is the first way we're going to show you. And you're going to start um, opposite of that last row of the base, and you're just going to weave it. And you're going to weave it real close to the um, that other row, as you can see. Now on the corners, you're going to fold it. And sometimes I find, like I just did right there, um, it's easier to flip it as I go. And you're just going to, again, keep it real tight and then fold it. So you start with the rounded side of the flat oval up, but after that first corner, it's going to be down. The next corner, it'll go back up, it'll go back down again. I'm just keeping it very snug and I'm being very careful not to let those spokes shift while I'm doing this row. And then once this row is in place, it will hold everything as I start to weave my sides. Okay, so now I'm going to overlap four just like I'm going to overlap four for every other row in this basket. And I snip it off flush there and then tuck that tail behind that spoke okay and then i would fold up the sides and we'll show you that in the next step but first i'm going to take this out and i'm going to show you how to do the same thing with this is number two round read so i'm going to find the center and i'm going to take my little pliers my um, rounded nose pliers and i'm just going to give it a little pinch and that will help it to fold without cracking. And I'm going to hook it over, and then I'm going to twine. So you go from the front to the back. Every, every time whatever strand is in the front goes behind the next spoke. Okay. When you get to the corner, you're going to do the same thing around the corner, but you're going to pinch those corners so that they fold. And go behind. Okay, so that one that's in the front is going to go behind. This is called twining. This is a very nice look. I like it for the holder row. And again, I'm going to get to the corners and pinch. I usually pinch the one that goes in front first because the other one is just a tad bit longer because it's going to reach behind that spoke and go behind. Both of these are pretty quick. The number two round gives a slightly neater appearance because it doesn't widen the base as much as the 3 16 flat oval. But both are nice and both do the job, whatever your preference is. Oftentimes in our kits, we'll actually include both, so you have the option. Okay, so we're going to reach our last corner here. Do our last little pinches. And the way you end this, you're going to come around and then you're just going to take both of those tails and just slide them through that first loop. I'm kind of struggling to get it in. Sometimes you can use the little flat tool to get them to fit in. So you just pull them in. Of course, make sure that you've soaked your reed. Otherwise, these are going to crack. And I leave the tail long until I'm done with my basket and everything's dry. And then I cut it short. If you cut it short too quickly, then um, it can shrink and then you, you'll lose 
those little tails. And then I'm just going around and I'm um, basically giving each spoke a little score there, um, a little bend, and it's called upstaking often. And this helps give some form to the basket. <clears throat> Obviously those spokes are not staying up, but giving them that little crease helps them to stay when you go to weave the sides. Okay, and that's the end. So now you're ready to weave.